Hello, I'm David Clark, Managing Director of DVC, and I'm going to be giving you a short run-through on the preview version of EDIUS 3D. EDIUS is one of our favourite editing programmes, and recently they've added in the ability to edit in proper 3D for stereoscopic footage. The new version is mainly about 3D, but there are some other enhancements as well, and they're all going to be bundled into the 6.5 update for EDIUS, which should be coming out in June of 2012. So let's firstly have a look at the stereoscopic editing inside of EDIUS. So I've opened up EDIUS 3D, and you can see here it looks pretty much like a normal EDIUS. I've brought some footage in from various cameras, and I'm going to take some of this footage and edit it. So let's take a clip. Double click on it, stick it up in the source. Start it playing. At the moment it's not 3D, it's just working like ordinary footage. To change this to be 3D I've got to come up to the settings, go to my project settings, change, open up the advanced stuff and down here there's a setting that says stereoscopic editing. I've just got to choose that and enable. Now when I say OK I'm suddenly in stereoscopic editing mode. Now you go back and look at the footage, and it looks exactly the same. But that's because I haven't told it how I want to view stereoscopic footage up here. Now to do that, you come to the view heading, and then down here where it says stereoscopic mode, you can see all the different ways that I can look at this footage. So at the moment, I'm only looking at the left eye, or I could choose the right eye. Or I could do a top and bottom, which shows you the left and right and the top and bottom. Anaglyph, which you use if you're using red and blue glasses side by side, and lots of other modes. Basically, EDIUS supports all the standard ways of actually viewing 3D footage. Now, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to pop it onto Anaglyph. Because if you do put on some red and green glasses, you'll be able to see some 3D actually in this window here. Normally, I wouldn't use that. Normally, I'd pop it onto one of the other modes. But I'll talk about previewing 3D properly with EDIUS in a minute. Editing 3D footage basically is like editing 2D footage. Apart from the obvious normal EDIUS stuff, what can you do with it in 3D? Can you add specific kind of 3D effects, make a title fly around in 3D? And finally, what do you do with it at the end of it? Now, there's some very good tutorials available on the 3D Guy website. You can see the link on the screen here, which explain this a lot more in depth than I'm intending to go into. I'm just going to give you a very quick rundown. So for a start, let's look at using the footage in the first place. Now, my swan shot here was filmed with a Sony TDR10 camera. This is a new 3D camera, it's about £1,000, and it films a full quality 3D image, and it squeezes the whole thing into one simple file. So in effect, all I did to use this footage was I copied the stuff off the camera, just like would it any other card-based camera, popped it into the bin, double-click, and use it. So in other words, I haven't had to do anything. The footage has come off the camera and is effectively ready to use. If I turn off 3D, suddenly it's just full quality, normal 2D footage. So I'm not losing anything by filming in 3D. There's a new Panasonic camera out, which does exactly the same thing. Again, it films footage and records the left and right eye images into one file. So again, just load the stuff up and use it. But there are other ways of filming 3D. For example, you could just stick two cameras next to each other and film. Or you can get specific cameras, which will actually film two separate files for you, two separate images, and then you've got to combine them in the software. So how do you deal with that? Here I have some footage, which was filmed with a Panasonic 3D A1 camera. Now this films full quality 3D high definition and it films into two separate files, a left file and a right file. At the moment I've got the right eye. Now what I want to do is to take that and merge it with the left eye. So I've got to grab hold of it, move it around and stick it next to the right eye file with this particular camera. All the left eyes have a two, all the right eyes have a three, so I've got to stick the left and the right one next to each other. Select both of them, right click and say set as stereoscopic. It then says, OK, these are the two files. You click on OK, and it combines them into one file. So I've now got a stereoscopic set of seagulls, and that's fine. Only trouble is here, of course, I've got to go through and do about 30 different clips. And to actually pick each one of them up one at a time and put them next to each other would be a bit boring. However, the good news is there's a very quick way of doing this inside of EDIUS. One of the things EDIUS will show you in the bin was the time at which these clips were recorded. So if I just pop that up, 
And there you can see the date and time at which the th clips were recorded. And if I just click on the heading, it puts them in date and time order, which means it's putting all the left eyes and the right eyes next to each other. Now I can just select a whole bunch of them, set a stereoscopic, bang, they are now all stereoscopic. Now having used all the other programs that do stereo editing, I have to say that is probably the quickest thing I could do. Click on date and time, select them all, set a stereoscopic, each one's done. I couldn't really get it any quicker. Every program that does 3D editing will support taking two camera files and combining them, but currently not every program that supports 3D will actually take clips like my Sony ones here and let me use them quite happily straight away without any work. At the moment we've got Sony Vegas 11, Avid Media Composer 6 and Edius 3D which supports stereo editing natively. Both Vegas and Edius will take these files and just use them. Avid Media Composer doesn't. And with Avid Media Composer I've got to take my Sony files here, split them into two eyes and then combine them in Avid.